Hi everyone, I'm Steven from Longshore Boats and today we're on a 2019 Edgewater 230cc and we're going to show you the proper operation of a live well. First thing you want to do is locate the live well switch. Uh, on this panel here, it's going to be labeled live well. So what we want to do is go ahead and turn it on and it should have a light, whether it's green or blue, but this one in fact has a blue one and it says live well, so we're going to go ahead and turn that on. On most boats, uh, they come equipped with one live well. On this Edgewater 230, there's actually two. Uh, there's a free-flowing live well here, and now that we have the switch on, you can tell that it's activated because the light is on on this one. Um, there is no water flowing until you take the valve and you open it. Once you get the water flowing, we need to insert this drain plug. And that'll keep the water in there and it'll constantly circulate until there's a little black uh, drain up top. So basically the water's just gonna constantly circulate and it's always gonna be fresh. So the second live well on this boat is the most common live well found. Uh, this one actually has a clear lid. Gives you the option to see your bait. And the difference on this one is it actually has a drain overflow tube. Uh, once that's put into the hole, again, the light's going to be on. That's going to tell us that the switch is activated and we need to open the valve. That again lets the water start to flow and you can control the pressure on that one also. Let's say you have the switch on. You see the light in the live well, but no water flowing. Uh, what we need to do is locate the seacock valve on your boat. On this particular model, it's very easy to access. We're going to go up underneath here. I'm going to pull this panel out. So on the edge water, the seacock valve is located right here. And there's an on-off valve here, but it's on. Some boats have the valves up here where you need to make sure it's turned on. So relatively easy, just make sure that valve's on. Now that you know the proper operation of the live well, the last thing you want to do is pull those drain plugs out. That's going to let the live wells drain. Once you get that finished, make sure you go back up to the dash and turn those pumps off. I want to thank you for watching this short video. I'm Steven from Longshore Boats. Uh, if you want to check out this boat or have any other questions, feel free to give us a call at 843-216-4700 or look us up on longshoreboats.com. Hope you have a good day.